Alright, so uh, this is a video for an XAT chat background, like this one. But I was just trying to make one with my Camtasia Studio, but it was being stupid and won't let me do anything at all in Photoshop. So you can make it like this, or, you know, this is one of my more complex ones, like this one. Uh, there's more in here somewhere. I just make a bunch of random ones for anybody, pretty much. Game battle stuff. So, uh, yeah. But, pretty much all you need is just an XAT background template. You can... Mine's just simple. It's just white with black. But you can get the ones with the tabs and all the smileys and stuff for a slot. But I don't do that because I just like to use a simple one. It's simple. So, let's get started. I'm going to use Photoshop CS5 Extended for this one. So, you just need to... Uh, File, open, find your XAT, and then open, find a design, I'm going to use this one. And then you just drag your background onto the design that you have, resize it, get it all set up and everything. And if you want to, you can leave it like that. But if you don't want to, then you can make layer one a screen. No, not a screen. Never mind. You want to make, well, first I got to apply the change. Okay. You want to make the background layer, maybe. It might work. That's not going to work. It works for some, and for others it doesn't. And why? Oh, never mind. Yeah. So basically, you're just going to make this whatever color you want. I think I'm going to make it black right here because it's already black and it's simple. So then I'm going to go to blending options, give it an outer glow. I'm going to try to replicate this color in here a little. See if I can get that color. Alright, close enough. And I'm just gonna make the opacity 100%. And do whatever with it. Too much. And then you can do an inner glow if you want. Just make it white, whatever. And pretty much all you gotta do, you just customize this however you want it. Like, you can do so much with it. It's unreal, pretty much. You wanna add some texture, usually, because it makes it look sweet. I like the tie-dye one. Turn the scale and the depth all the way up. You might wanna take the scale down a little bit. Especially if you didn't color the... If you didn't color this part, you wanna take the scale down some. And add a stroke to it. Make the stroke this color over here. Try to get it from in there. Make it about one. That gives a little bit of a 3D effect. You can also do that with the background if it wasn't locked. If it wasn't locked, I could just drag it over into the first thing, but it's not going to let me. So, I'm going to select this layer again and do a little touching up. I don't exactly like these little dots in the middle, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Good enough. So then, you pretty much just add text. You got a new layer. I'm going to do some text. Uh, I'll throw in... Just throw my name in there. Well, first I need to resize the text. Then I need to resize the box. Then I need to change the color of the text. 
no, I want it darker. There we go. That should be pretty sweet. Then just right click, blending options. You can add glow, whatever, outer glow. It's gonna be this color. Inner glow is gonna be white. Give it some texture, throw in the tie dye all the way up. Stroke. Make it about a one. And make it yellow ish, whatever that color is. Down a little. Alright, so. Then you can add more layers if you want, like users over here and type here or whatever. But this is just basic just something showing you how to do it so that's about it peace and chicken grease and Gatorade and hot pockets <laughs>